today we are going to do a review on the RMS Sun Cover Up Super Tint. This is not a first impression. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I love this product. It's amazing. It's very hydrating. It has SPF and raise your hand if you forget to put SPF on every day. That would be me. So the fact that there's SPF in this and the coverage, I don't know why this is called a tint. I mean, I guess that's why they call it a super tint. It's a very, very good coverage for a tint. I bought this, I featured it in my kind of get ready with me video. I love it. I like to put it on with my hands. You can use a brush, a sponge, your fingers, whatever you want. I don't favor uh, sponges because I feel like it soaks up too much of the product. As I mentioned, there is SPF in this. You have to give it a good shake. I don't remember how many shades this has, but it's, it's a good range of shades. Also, if you notice, I don't have my like purple lights on in the back. My daughter gave me some constructive criticism and she said that the purple pulls the green in my face. So we're trying a no color. Let me know if you like it or if you don't like it. Give it a good shake, it comes in a pump. That's like major. I typically wear shade 33 in the Uncover Up. That's a little concealer pot. So I'm shade sand in this. Take it, I wanna show you what the consistency is like. Hopefully I'm in, I'm in focus, okay. It's definitely like a watery consistency, but it feels like a serum, all right? And we're gonna do a wear test. It's 12.03. You don't need a lot of this. You can definitely layer it up. I like to just warm it up on the back of my hand. I always do that with any foundation. And I just start applying. But look at that coverage. It literally concealed that redness or covered it up. I've been wearing this like every day since I got it. I've had it for about two weeks now. I ordered it when it launched really, really fast and it took about two days to get to me. I live in Jersey. They ship out of, I think, South Carolina or Georgia, something like that. And it came to me in about two days. So I've been wearing it like every day. So I will say, if you're on the dry side, you still have to prep your skin with a little bit of moisturizer. Not much because this is super hydrating. If you're not dry, you could probably skip moisturizer. So that's one layer, let's do another layer. It doesn't separate either, which I like. It's a, it is a clean beauty brand, but it's not separating. It's not like you have to um, worry about that really. I mean, you have to shake it obviously, but look at that coverage. Just take it to my forehead. So the one thing I found about this, is when you put it on, immediately after putting it on, it, it's a little bit, like it takes a few seconds to, to set itself, but once it sets, it doesn't budge. This is a foundation that like, again, we're doing a wear test because I want to show you. I've worn it all day and it's, my skin looks the same. It looks really good. So now whenever I just put on my face, I'm just kind of like pressing it in. Whatever's on the back of my hand, I'm gonna pick up with my brush. This is the Merit brush and I'm just, Add a little more coverage where I need it. You can set this if you want to, for sure. Um, but I don't know, I like the glow that it gives. And like I said, once, whoop, this is where we're at. Look at that pretty, oh my focus, okay, cool. Look at that pretty glow. I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'm gonna come back and we'll do check-ins. Again, it is, 12.07, so that's my Halloween background. Oh, I like, I love it. All right, I'll be back. All right, we are gonna do our first little baby check-in because I just did all my makeup. Um, got some, some fun new makeup on today. So if you like this look, comment down below and I will let you know when that video drops. Um, but this is where we're at, it is 12.32, it's been about 30 minutes since I applied. Ooh, focus, focus, okay. It's been about 30 minutes since I applied. Also, I realized that when I was filming, my video might be a little bit dark, so now it's a little bit brighter. I adjusted the setting on my camera. Um, so this is what we are looking like. 
look at that. I mean, I have products that have my cheeks glowing, but look how my forehead is like, I just look very radiant and glowy and healthy, so. Um, I'll see you guys later. I did not do check-ins, I apologize. I ended up having a busier day than I expected to, but this is a, I guess, a final and only check-in. It is 8.03, so I've had this on for exactly eight hours, and this is what we are looking like. I will preface by saying, if it's off of my nose, it's because I, my allergies are horrendous today, and I had to keep blowing my nose, but otherwise, this is what it looks like on the forehead, on the cheeks. I feel like it stayed on for the most part. I mean, I do have a little bit of blush, but this is what it looks like. And it's this, this is an eight hour wear. Again, it's a tint, so I, I think it outperforms, even though it's called a tint, it, for me it reminds me of like a foundation. The glow is still there. I never set my makeup, but the foundation or the tint kind of set itself because it's really not like wet looking like when I initially applied it. So that's why I like it. I've been using it every day. It's like top shelf. Cause again, I forget to put SPF on. So that way I'm guaranteed to wear it. So I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment down below. So, very good, highly recommend. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below.